do. Uh, and you are, you're definitely, if you follow, if you follow Scotty on Twitter, you'll see this. You, you train predominantly, and I believe started training under uh, former WWE's uh, Funaki, show Funaki. Absolutely. Um, I've actually kind of taken this week off just because I'm broke. And uh, I'm also preparing for a couple shows weekend. I'm going to be working here in San Antonio on Friday, wrestling here for TWA. Hey, there he is. Do you have the pose <laughs> where he's doing the, the finger? Not, <laughs> the classic. Not, like, not the middle finger, but like he's pointing his finger up. That one, the third one. That's yes. Okay. So uh, fun kind of story, I guess. Uh, I had a promotional photo taken of me once and they were asking like what you know or they were like yeah just you know promo photo strike a pose or something and i've always seen that picture of funaki and i couldn't think of anything else so i use that pose and that's like my go-to my go-to pose for any <laughs> there we go that's probably no that's is that no i didn't have gear when i took that promo photo but that is the other one it's a little bit yeah. but other than that yeah so yeah, I mean, learning from Naki in more from Funaki in more ways than one, I guess. Um, yeah. But yeah, well, I talk talk about it in your sense like how was it, like actually training under Funaki? How was the uh, I guess regiment like sort of? I, I definitely with indie wrestling, we definitely always want to touch on like the actual training aspect. Like how was it like actually getting in the ring and training? Um, it's really awesome actually. I mean, like it's as great as you would think it is. Funaki is super cool. Probably like one of the most patient human beings I've ever met. Um, it was brutal though when we first got started. It was me and uh, another local guy here in the Texas area, Dylan Dunbar, and he had just gotten started. I had had a little bit of training, but we had been training previously at another gym for three months, and that had gotten shut down. The original Funaki Dojo, or no wait, that was the Food Dojo, and it became the Funaki Dojo later. Uh, but yeah, we started under that, me and uh, Dylan Dunbar, terrible grammar there, sorry about that, but uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, I'm really conscious about that, but I still don't fix it, so, but um, Please, yeah, yeah we, we started training, and it was early summer, and it was just brutal, the heat down here was ridiculous, mm. uh, there we go, oh man, they've got really nice, like, graphics and everything. That's really cool. 